looks like hail and snow and rain. The weather is truly weird today. Doesn't know what looks so strange myself. <sighs> Gonna have to brave it though. Get out there. Today though, I'm going to just flip you around and show you what I'm going to be doing. Repairs. I'm going to be doing some repairs today. I've got a whole host of things of the children's and some of my quilts need hand stitching. And look, that's probably a moth. But it's weird because I've been wearing this. This is just an old cardigan of Toby's that he didn't want anymore. So I just have it to fling on when I'm cold. Um... I don't have a jumper downstairs, so I'm going to have to mend that. It's in a really annoying place. It's right up by the V, which is super annoying. But I love wearing that. It's nice and snuggly. Also, these dresses have arrived from this gorgeous company. These are not cheap, but it's linen. It's sustainable. They pay a living wage. Um... I actually bought these when we were still part of the EU. Took about four weeks. Look. Took about four weeks for them to be made and to be shipped out from Lithuania, I think. Look at that weather. It's very distracting. Uh, they're really... Wow, well, it's funny because I measured myself and... They're obviously very generous with their sizes, unlike high street stores. Um, they don't scrimp on their, on their fabric, that's for sure. Um, they're really, really beautiful, but they're super long. So this one, it's, um, I need to take the hem up by about this much and the blue one by about this much. But what I love about it is this is the back of the dress, but you can wear it at the front. They don't say that you can on the website, but I've just tried them on and you most certainly can. Because although there's breast darts, chest darts, what do you call these? Bust darts. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't make a pointy bit on your back. Looks really lovely. I can't remember what that dress is called actually. I think this one's called a monk's dress. So this is the back of this one. And um, you can wear this one back to front, but you need the button undone, otherwise it'll grow up to you. Um, it's got long sleeves, which I would wear rolled up. It comes with a belt as well, so you can alter the look of it. You can cinch it in at the waist and pull all the excess round to the back to give you a bit more of a sleek silhouette. Or you can just tie the belt and then sort of pull up the fabric to hang over the belt. So then it looks like a skirt and top type jumpsuity thing. But they're very long, which is lovely. I love long dresses. But they're too long for me, especially since... Although I will probably wear these all year round, I know I'm going to wear them a lot during the cooler weather. No, the warmer weather, because it's this lovely floppy linen. So I won't be wearing heels, I'll be wearing flat sandals rather than my boots that have got a chunky heel. So I need to um, take those up. And what's lovely is they come in little linen bags. How gorgeous. Now it says that these are um, washed and softened, which means there should be absolutely no shrinkage involved with these um, when I wash them so I'm not going to wash them before taking them up because there's absolutely no need to. I'm also, if I get time, going to have a go at making uh, Chinese egg noodles. So I've dug this out 
I have washed it, I just didn't dry it by hand, I just put it on the agar. Um, and I'm gonna make egg noodles because I can't find Chinese egg noodles that don't come in a non-recyclable, low-ball <laughs> plastic wrapper. Um, but apparently they're really easy to make. I've been talking to Wendy who showed us how to do sushi and um, this is how she makes her Chinese egg noodles. So I just, uh, hopefully, will manage to do that and then that solves my problem because I can get my eggs in cardboard containers and I can get flour uh, from the refill shop or from any supermarket because generally flour comes in a paper bag which is marvellous. I'm pretty sure that I look like a maniac. It is so windy, my bobble hat keeps blowing off. And when I left the house, it was nice and sunny. And now, don't know if you can see, there is snow and hail and rain in the air. Oh, my ears, because my hat keeps blowing off my head. Oh. <laughs> I've got really bad earache. Oh, it hurts so much. <sighs> I can't wait to get back. <sighs> my eyes are streaming. I've got my sunglasses on. I look like an idiot. And my eyes are still streaming. to lay this out on the floor so that I could find the areas that needed repairing and then pop a little safety pin in because it's it's a bit of a beast it's king size and trying to manhandle it on your lap well it was a bit tricky I've chatted about this before um, in one of my vlogs or maybe it was on one of my Instagram stories. I can't remember. This quilt <clears throat> I bought in Green Dragon Antiques. Was it Green Dragon Antiques? If it wasn't Green Dragon Antiques, it was whatever the shop was that opened up briefly after Green Dragon Antiques closed. Um, I... I spent £45 on it in the summer before I was heading off to university uh, because I just loved it. I kept walking past it in the window and I just, wanted, I really, really wanted it. £45 back then in, when would that have been, 1997, for somebody who was probably earning £3.25 an hour wasn't awful lot of money an awful lot of money but I just I just couldn't not have it and I've never regretted it oh my itchy nose and I've never regretted buying it my dad was really cross with me because he just saw it as terribly irresponsible because I was supposed to be saving up to go off to university and I went to university in London which is expensive and um, I could see his point but honestly this quilt has outlasted and any usefulness that my degree ever brought me and has given me more joy than my degree ever gave me. <laughs> So I'm super glad that I bought the quilt and every now and again it starts to pull apart because it's hand appliqued 
So I spend a little bit of time putting it back together and showing it some love. The other two quilts that I showed, um, the one with the heart that is coming unstitched, my mum made for me for my 39th birthday. I don't know why she didn't do it for my 40th. She sort of top trumped herself. <laughs> um, so I want to repair that. And then the, the one where the binding's coming apart, that's one that I made myself and I made it all completely by hand. No sewing on the machine whatsoever. And it took me probably about three years from start to finish, but I picked it up and put it down, picked it up and put it down. Now, the reason why those two quilts are um, looking worse for wear is because they were on the chair where Margot likes to sit and Margot likes to dig, doesn't she? So she digged them. <laughs> she dug them. No, that doesn't sound right either. She dig dug to them, dug dig to them. So, um, yeah, they need repairing. Here we go, I'm gonna start making the noodles. So three eggs in there and a pinch of salt two cups of plain flour and I'm keeping my voice down because there's a man upstairs who is measuring up for shutters in Wilfred's bedroom. I don't want him to think I'm a weirdo. This is not looking right. I think my eggs were too big. So in order to salvage the situation I'm going to add some new plain flour. Kitchen experiments with Gainer. Finishing this by hand because it doesn't seem to be mixing very well. I'm having to prop you up because I don't want the tripod up because when he comes back downstairs, he might think I'm a bit weird. needs to rest now for 15 minutes without losing any moisture so I'm just gonna because I don't want to wrap it up in cling film I'm just gonna do this that'll do the job that will do the job it's rested for a bit about 15 minutes and now I'm gonna Seriously regretting this. You said that huge one, okay? I'm telling my phone. <laughs> it's taking forever. I'm gonna do this again. Doesn't even look like enough. I've been doing it for an hour.
Chinese. I've got a question. Right, guys, I might have made a big mess in the kitchen and more? smoked the entire house I've out. I've got that, but it's only more. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Is it is it a winner? Mm -hmm. Should we do it again? Mm -hmm. Lovely. I might need help next time. <laughs> oh, I feel very tense. Can you get you a bit of soy sauce for me? <laughs> what are you doing, Toby? Getting the dog, getting a cup of tea. So, um, oh. <laughs> Bunny. Bunny gets too lazy to move off her chair to come in and sit with us. We have to carry her in. <laughs> Bunny. <laughs> Bunny. <laughs> Bunny. <laughs> so silly. Hey. Are you just laying there, waiting for me to come and stroke your tummy? Do you want me to stroke your tummy? Do you want me to stroke your tummy? Do you? Are you making yourself pretty? <laughs> Look at this bald little tummy. You look a bit grubby from your walk today, don't you? Yes, lots of mud on your tummy still. Oh. Look at that scar. Poor bunny. We don't know how you got that, do we? And all your teeth are broken, aren't they? Look. Oh. Look. The other side's worse. And you can see. Let me show you. There. You can see where she tried to bite her way out of the bars. Oh, sweetie. Oh, sweetie. You're so silly. You're so silly. Are you just going to lay there? <laughs> Bless you. Doing. Bless you. Bless you. What is she doing, eh, Marks? What is she doing? <laughs> you sneezed all over yourself. <laughs> She's wet everywhere, isn't she? Oh, <laughs> Look at her ear. <laughs> oh, she's so sweet. Right, silent witness. Yes. Right, good night, everybody.